Hi, I'm Alex, and this video is an introduction to water cooling your PC. As you can see here, this is the next evolution of the PC that I'm building. And the various pieces of the computer that generate heat are the ones that we're going to be water cooling. Let me give you a little close up of the various pieces that we're going to be water cooling. So, as you can see here, we have these two very, very large CPU heat sinks. And what they do is they have these monster 120 millimeter fans on the bottom of that one and on the top of that one. And they basically take the heat that's generated in the CPU core down in there and they suck all the heat through the, the copper tubing, the copper pipes. You can see some of that copper over there. There it is. And they go through these fan grills and the air from the fan blows all the air through it. And that's how uh, it cools the, uh, the, the CPU. Now you can also see some fans in the front of the computer. There's some, some three fans in the front. One, two, three. And there are a couple of fans on the back of the computers. One, there's the other. And also, um, there's a big fan right here, right on the motherboard, and that's to cool the chipset uh, that's on the motherboard. So after we're all said and done, I'm going to be taking this big monster CPU heatsink out, and this CPU heatsink out, and I'm also going to take this part of the motherboard out. And one of the things that I'm also going to be doing is taking the video card, which I don't have installed right now, and replacing the heat sink that comes with it, along with the big fan that makes a lot of noise, and taking that out as well. And basically what we're going to be doing is replacing all of these fans with water cooling and water tubing, which is going to go through all the various components to cool the machine. Now you may ask yourself, why would I want to put water next to the computer? Well, the point is that water moves heat away from these heat generating components a lot more efficiently than these devices with the fans. And it also makes it a lot quieter as well. Water is a lot more efficient at, at uh, removing heat from the components. I think it's probably around um, about 30 times more efficient at removing heat away from these components. And it also stores a lot more heat than air does. I think it's about four or five times more uh, air, um, uh, more, more heat uh, in, the, in the water than it does through the air. So that's the big reason why I'm going to be putting in water cooling into this computer. So stick around for upcoming videos on how this thing progresses, and uh, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.